The Fed has just announced an emergency 50 basis points rate cut, blaming the virus. Such a predictable lie. Negative rates are coming. Be ready America. Very sad, a plan that is many decades in the making. The Fed will cut rates again at their next meeting in a few weeks. This is their ultimate plan, many decades in the making, to be the lender and buyer of last resort to own the world. We lose. President Trump elated on the Fed rate cut. Now he is calling for deeper cuts and more QE. It's a big dead cat bounce. The debt market is a nuclear bomb that's about to go off. President Donald Trump on Tuesday demanded that the Federal Reserve cut rates even more after the central bank announced it would slash rates by 50 basis points in an effort to combat the economic impact of the coronavirus outbreak. Trump, the greatest businessman of all time, Trump thinks the US deserves to have sub-zero interest rates since it has great currency, power, balance sheet. Cut the rate to help corporate customers while it lowers savings and money market interest earned, so in essence, help the wealthy corporate types and screw the individual consumer again. Negative interest rates will force you to pull all your bucks in the stock market or under your mattress. And the Fed just began another repo after a 120 billion pump this morning. The Fed would use the coronavirus as an excuse to vastly expand the debt. Scary, this is their final solution. The debt has become the toxic poison. They used that as an excuse to make it look like somebody is buying stocks. When they cut later down the road, the market will rise again on the day of the announcement, all fake. Supply chain stopped from China, empty shelves and the Fed prints more money. Just wait in two weeks you will see in some cities grocery stores wiped clean. Most people cannot live three days with a disruption in supply. I knew when I saw Powell talking about doing whatever it takes to support the market, stocks were going to take off. Right now, the Fed lowers the rate of 50 points, and the market still is struggling. The market couldn't even hold on to expectations of rate cuts. Gold is on fire. It seems like this market is infected with the coronavirus and isn't responding well to yellow stain medicine. Watch the market do a backflip again and go into the green before closing time. This is a Fed freak show. Several months ago, the major Wall Street banks were given another public bailout right under your nose, huge amounts of capital. These same banks have been, and will, be using that cash to buy the market, moreover, much more capital for these banks is coming courtesy of the Fed, and President Trump. This is just getting started. The Fed, and President Trump are about to unleash much more debt on America and its citizens. Anything to pump up the stocks must distract from the free fall economy. And here come the lies of Powell, parroting President Trump, the US economy is strong. So is that why we need dramatic rate cuts and even negative rates. The Fed thinks it could print a cure for the coronavirus. The fake market gets what the Fed wants. More debt. This market is an addict. 100% addicted to debt. The Fed and President Trump are more than happy to give the market a fix when needed, and then some more. Right now, Steve Mnuchin is in talks with the Wall Street banks and the New York Fed. The banks are going to be given capital injections directly from the Fed. Strictly to buy stocks. Powell admits on live TV that central banks are coordinating their efforts. Which means they collectively will continue to enslave the world with epic debt. The next massive bailout will probably be a bail-in. You are going to supply the funds. The volatility before the crash will be epic. Dollar and bonds to zero money printing and inflation to infinity. The Fed doesn't print medicine. It only prints death. Our government has taken over our free markets. Our markets don't have their natural movements any longer, so conventional wisdom has been pushed aside. Dump the dollar buy gold. Drop your central bank notes, your money, and buy gold. Become your own central bank, buy some physical gold, more silver, some cryptos and preps, and tune into this channel. Peace and the best of health, are the true wealth. This decade street smarts will be the new PhD. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my two backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you. The Fed cuts rates by half a percentage point. Stocks initially rallied sharply on the move but backed off in volatile trading. The rate cut is an affirmation of the problem. It's a signal of impending doom. 
Even Powell admitted at his news conference that the main economic impact from the coronavirus supply chain disruptions would not be solved by this 0.5% rate cut. This was not a good move. The paranoia of the market immediately set in. What does the Fed know that we don't? This has to be worse than we think it is. It also gives the appearance that they were browbeaten by Trump. They have also put themselves in a difficult situation if reversing the cuts becomes warranted. They should have held their fire. Also, there does not appear to be any fiscal policy to support the economy, so rates cuts by themselves will do very little. Stupid Fed, all this rate cut did was to light a fire under gold. The way the Fed's behaving implies three-ply and hand sanitizer will be the currency of the future. More repo largesse, reverse repo operation now underway. Their action is in support of the markets in detriment to the economy. They have lost their way, and the only direction for the USA from here is down with this Fed at the helm of the sinking ship. Donnie was bragging just last night about yesterday's dead cat bounce, and now the market is tanking again, even after his Fed flunkies crank up the printing presses to print more funny money. Odd, isn't it, that this strongest economy in history needs a constant fix of cheap money and negative rates to continue climbing. Maybe the US Treasury should simply take all individual and corporate tax refunds and pump them directly into their favorite stocks, in an even clearer move toward corporate fascism. If equities are based on the forward performance of an asset, and you know pretty much all of those assets are not going to perform well over the next few months, then shouldn't they go down? Not in today's world. In today's world, stocks should always go up. Fundamentals are damned. Remember, nothing accelerates the economy and creates jobs like falling prices to dramatically lower and more affordable levels. Nothing. The rule has always been pay no attention to what people say, only pay attention to what they do. Actions do speak louder than words. A 50 basis point emergency cut means they know something is about to hit the fan. What happens when Fed cuts to the zero bound, and COVID-19 is still wreaking havoc? Trump should try to actually govern instead of trying to pump the stock market. The Fed is done as far as affecting the markets. Who goes to a bank when they have the flu? What a clown. Trump, the market pumper that he is, shows how he knows nothing when calling for the Fed to do something. It's an effing virus, not a rate-sensitive situation. The greatest economy in the history of the world needs low rates to exist. What does that tell you? Cutting interest rate doesn't do squat for a virus or supply chain disruptions. Remember folks, this is a no-win situation across the board. The debt levels are astronomical, and fiat is on the way to total worthlessness. So we're damned if they do, and we're damned if they don't. No easy way out. The best thing is to just do whatever we can to get out of their system and take care of ourselves first. Sell out of this market now if you're crazy enough to still be in it. Load up on precious metals for insurance, and load up on food supplies, supplements, household supplies, etc. now before the supply shortages get to critical levels in your area. There's not much else regular people can do if they hadn't already started preparing for the long haul, but every little bit may help. But just do what you can now before every day in all areas turns into infinite Black Friday type situations in the stores. My area is still somewhat calm, but I have done some recon the last four days around to many stores, and yesterday started to show empty shelves of cleaning supplies, antibacterial soap, sanitizers, etc. Foodstuffs were still doing okay, but I don't expect that to last very much longer. It's going to escalate very rapidly from here on out. Whether anyone thinks or believes this virus is as bad as it really is doesn't matter. The fact is that the damage has already been done to the supply chain, and the virus is bad enough now to cause panic buying. It will become a self-perpetuating cycle of panic buying and shortages from here on out. When the supplies run out, well, then it's game over, and folks better have as much as they can to hunker down with for many months to try and ride this whole thing out. Good luck out there, life is about to change on this planet in a very profound and historical way. I hope we make it through somehow. Like it or not, we are all now in a serious survival situation. Whether it be from this virus or due to food and supply shortages. But in actuality, it is because of both at the same time feeding off each other. Just do what you all can do to prepare for hunkering down for the long haul so we can all do our best to ride this out. It's all we can do depending on our own personal situations and where we are.
It is what it is now, and there is no changing this fact, unfortunately, so people need to wake up and get with the game plan now. This won't end well. Be prepared. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my two backup channels, I do upload videos there too on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you.